we're really excited and honored to be supported by the American Heart Association for multiple projects here within our digital health lab. Where our focus is, is really using technology that's part of everyday life to improve the way that we provide and deliver a program called cardiac rehabilitation. A lot of patients have trouble getting back to the hospital setting. So we worked on developing a digital health or virtual model where patients could do these activities at home using a smartphone application, the support of a smart watch and a blood pressure cuff, as well as health coaching that happens on your phone or computer. My name is Deborah Allen. I'm from Baltimore City, born and raised. I used to have racing heart and um, I would get kind of worn out by the brief walk. I got exhausted walking across the street. My girlfriend looked at me and she said, Deb, you need, to go, you need to call your doctor. We found that I did have a problem with my heart and they decided that it would be better for me to do open heart surgery. I did physical therapy, just walking a half a block, walking a block, walking a block and a half, two blocks, even walking up the steps. Post-surgery was still a big exertion. I did um, a digital application to um, follow up with like my heart medications, my exercise, vital signs, blood levels, and attending to different factor appointments. To build this technology, we really want to start with who is the end user, what are the problems they're having, and then work backwards. It's not us as researchers sitting around a table and saying, hey, here's what we think would be useful. Some key themes that just keep coming up again and again. Uh, one of them is education. I love the educational videos. Put that on there as a 10 out of 10. The need for high quality information to understand what's really going on with my heart. When they um, then interact with that education within our app, we hear patients really loving it and, and talking about binge watching that education. And, and wanting more education. They don't take that long. And it's really interesting to me to hear things, how they apply to me and my heart disease. Another one is organization and, and remembering, such as medications. It helped me with the timeline with medicine for one thing. Almost like 10 time points in a day that I would take medication. And I'm like, this is crazy. But that app really assisted me with that. When someone's on a long list of medications and they're taken at different times a day, it's a bit of a complex med regimen. That, that need for additional organization and reminders um, around the care plan is something that patients um, have, have really identified as a key need that we've been able to then address with the technology. The work that we do here with the model for virtual cardiac rehab with the American Heart Association support is to expand the reach of virtual and cardiac rehab so that everyone has access. I'm Yvonne Commodore Mensa. I am principal investigator of the Linked VP program. Hypertension is a leading risk factor for cardiovascular disease, stroke. We know that half of US adults have hypertension and hypertension is a health equity issue because racial and ethnic minority populations are more likely to have hypertension. So what can we do to actually prevent the occurrence of hypertension in the first place? One of the components is providing participants with a blood pressure monitoring device. This is actually very empowering because patients don't have to wait months and months before they have their blood pressure measured by a clinician. It's good to know that you're improving. Not someone just telling you, oh, your blood pressure is better than it was last month when you visited. You seen it yourself. So in the Link BP program, what we're doing is we're linking the blood pressure device with the application. Participants can see the blood pressure readings at home, but it also allows clinicians to see the readings remotely. Mobile health applications are great tools, but we need to combine that with the person. And so this is where we've engaged community health workers. We will train these community health workers to address social needs, but also empower patients to monitor their blood pressure at home and educate them on the importance of lifestyle changes. What we're really proud about in the solutions that we create here in the Digital Health Lab supported by the American Heart Association is equitable, health equity focused, and really inclusive model for delivering the best in cardiovascular health promotion through digital health. 
even as I'm growing older, I got my life back. It's really helpful that I had the app and it made a difference because it makes me aware that what I do can help me, that I am powerful in that, that I'm not powerless in taking care of myself. This model is groundbreaking. We're one of the first centers in the country to be able to start to provide these services to patients. We're still early on in, in the, the, the testing of technology, but we've already seen better outcomes in terms of patient activation, meaning that patients felt um, a, a level of confidence to take care of their cardiac condition. And along with that, better outcomes in terms of less uh, readmissions to the hospitals. With continued investment and continued growth within digital health, we're gonna be able to get to the level where we can prevent disease and events before they happen.